Hi you guys, it's Jazz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, 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 in today's video, I am super excited to be showing you guys my updated makeup tutorial. This is definitely beginner friendly because I'm not a pro, y'all. Like, I'm still learning all that stuff. So this is definitely like a natural glam, soft glam makeup tutorial. The last time I filmed one of these was probably like was seven months ago and i just learned so much within seven months you guys i improved so much and the last one i did was more like a no makeup makeup look but this was a little more it adds a little more spice to you know what i'm saying but all that being said let's just hop right into this video okay first thing first i'm gonna go ahead and just push my hair back or we'll clip my hair back because i don't want it in the way so a good flawless makeup look is your skincare make sure you guys prep your skin before y'all do this because then your makeup is gonna look really just off and it's not gonna give okay so make sure you do your skin prepping really great That's so okay I'll, okay you guys so i go ahead and i start out with primer i'm gonna use the pore professional primer i'm gonna put this all around my face i'm gonna really work it like by my eyes i get a lot of creases underneath my eyes so i kind of want to just focus it a little more under my eyes and then focus it more on my nose because i get real oily around my nose too <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some concealer. I actually just learned this yesterday from my mom. So shout out to my mom. I'm gonna put it in my inner corners and then on my lids. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier in the shade 4C. And I love how this glides on my skin and blends in so seamlessly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the same one on my eyelid. But literally just like a dot, not like a bunch, just literally a dot. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and let both of those get tacky before I start blending it. Personally, I like to use a fan because I'd be in a rush and I don't like waiting. So I got my little mini fan. I'm just I'm literally just gonna blow this all around. Now I'm gonna go in with my Pro Concealer brush this is in 57 and i'm just going to blend it but literally blend it all around my eyelid okay it's not fully blended out but i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then i'm gonna start working my way down to blending out the concealer on my face so and this one got a little too tacky. So, y'all, my mom showed me this trick, so shout out to her for real. I went in with my Morphe setting mist, and I'm gonna spray the brush. I could like be a little damp. I like to bring it down my nose, like the illusion of a snatched nose, and then work my way to the end of my eyebrow to kind of get the snatched look too. Look at the way the concealer just blends in and just glides on so seamlessly. Laura, you did your thing with that girl. I like to go in with my little beauty blender. This is such like a baby one. Look how little and cute it is. Super cute. And I have to go in and really kind of be heavy handed with this because it's so light and really get in between like the pieces of my eye right here because those don't be that good when you blend with a brush sometimes and i just alter my way i go back with my brush and just blend any harsh lines right here like that's pretty hard you can see that and just really just start blending it out a little more blending is literally the key of having a really nice makeup look because if you're not blending it correctly then your makeup's gonna look like ooh, her makeup not really giving you know so now that that is preset on, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again. And now I'm gonna really blend out my eyes because I did not blend it out all the way. Just right and tap. When I do blend it out, I do bring it right in like the crevices of my 
eye corner okay now that i'm done bling that out i'm gonna go in and start concealing my nose so i'm gonna go in with juvia's place in the shade 12 and i don't like my nose being so highlighted so i get a concealer that's a little more closer to my skin complexion and i'm just gonna do like a little upside down triangle and then i'm gonna make a few dots on my nose while with that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the Easy Bake and Snatch by Huda Beauty. And it is in the shade Kanifia. Kanifia? Kanifa? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I love the pressed powder because it's just less messy and it's buildable. So I'm gonna do like a few little circles and I'm just going to, oh, that lash press in. I gotta make sure y'all are pressing real hard because you just never know. Boom. Same thing with this eye. Boom. See? All done. All done. I'm going to go in and just blend out this. I'm not a big fan of like the highlighted nose, so I put a little too much on, but that's okay. But my blending skills and my brush will be fine. And notice how I literally just kept it in the same area. I didn't like bring it out. I just kind of was patting it in this area right here. And then I'm gonna go in with my little tiny <laughs> beauty blender to blend out this little babe and just lightly tap. Tap some off because I definitely went ahead and put a little too much. Oh. I put too much on my nose, y'all. Like, oh my goodness. Oh well. I'll be fine. Like you see how it's getting light, it's kind of giving the illusion of like a highlight in the middle. That is so freaking cute. Cool, now I'm gonna go ahead with the same, with the same pressed powder. Do a little bit, cause I don't want it to be too bright and I'm just gonna press. Press that in there. I'll do a little more on my forehead the most because that's where the most concealer is at. Boom, you see how the look is kind of coming together, you know what I'm saying? So next, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of contour. I am still not 100% sure how you contour, but I know to do little dots around my temples and like my forehead. So I'm just going to go in with the Fenty and the shade Espresso and just do a little... Oh, that's probably too much. Yeah, that is definitely too much, but hey. And I'm just gonna do some right here. And if you guys could probably tell, I have a natural line, so it's easy for me to put the stick right across there because it just shows so good, you guys. And I did it lightly because I'm not a big fan of contouring yet, so yeah. This side's a little harder for me because I don't know where exactly is the edge. I could kind of see it, but I can't, so. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do a little contour into my nose and I'm using Chew Complexion by Black Radiance. And this is just like the contour palette, a really beginner friendly palette. You guys very affordable, recommend getting it. But I use whatever brush I think works best. So I'm gonna actually go in with like, one of these type of brushes are like a small square slanted brush. One of these, square and slanted. And with the contour, the shade contour, I'm gonna do a little bit because it's really pigmented. Let me just try to blend this out or something because it's definitely not getting. <laughs> Like I said, I'm no pro. I'm still learning, so, hey. Oh, I done contour my nose so, so dang cricket. Can y'all see? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going in with my little beauty blender and just blending this out a bit because I did mess, mess up. And because it's half like concealer on it, it will just help fix it. Like so. See, it looks better. I just fixed it. Yeah, yeah, fix it. And now I'm gonna go in with another, with another beauty blender. This is like my foundation slash contour blender and just kind of hardly 
press on it because I don't want to move it but I have it stay right here but still just blend in like that you see how it's giving like a warmth to it a dark tone coming together just trust the process okay okay now i'm gonna go in with some bronzer and i am using the juvie's place in the shade dark and i'm only doing a little bit just really just right here that's really it and i'm using the reals technique in 201 and i'm getting like a, i'm getting the lighter one and i'm just going flipping it across here to warm that up just a little more I like a warm look too. And just really dusting off whatever extra that I had on my face before. So boom. Okay, now my favorite part of it all is literally adding blush because blush is so pretty. I'm going in with the Juvia's Place in the shade Volume 4. And just look how pretty this is, you guys. Uh, it's to die for. It's literally to die for. This is a random brush that I just found. I'm gonna go in with the darker blush. A little bit goes a long way because it is pink. And I'm gonna place it above my cheekbone. Bringing your blush up high also gives you like a nice snatch look too. Not just for concealer, but you bring it up high above your cheekbone and kind of go up. It'll give you a snatch look. Same thing for this side. We're not done yet. Then I'm gonna go in with the lighter one and just go over it, mix the two. I think pink looks so well with what I'm wearing too. Like why not do pink? I always have issues like having my blush the same as that placement. So one might be a little higher than, than the other, but hey, we live to see another day. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Dior Backstage in shade 5W Foundation. And just put a little bit on my hand first. Go in with my little spongy. And just kind of go down here. Here and blend that in. This gives you skin. If you are looking for a nice, a nice foundation that gives you skin in a slight weight, go to your Backstage. Okay. Because their, their foundation and their concealer is everything. And so seamlessly, so smoothly. Like, Y'all have seen how it blends in with my skin. okay boom now that i'm done with that i'm gonna go in with the next can't stop bone set magnifying primer and basically just like to set my face basically um, i'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush the real technique bronzer brush and just tap that just go all over my face really make things blend in more better better and seamlessly which is going all over my face cool before i proceed with my eyes and with my brows i'm gonna set my face with the morphe continuous setting mist I'm gonna go in with my Sephora eye pencil. This is in the shade 12. Love me a skinny eye pencil because I could just do light strokes. And like I said, I like, you know, my brows kind of skinny and light. So I'm gonna go in and just mix them. Okay, the brows is definitely giving. You see how I didn't even need to go ahead and conceal because what am I concealing? You know, what am I concealing? Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I go in with this blush for eyeshadows, the Intense Plum 09. I kind of like a pink, reddish type of eyeshadow designs. 
put that above my mouth, my eyes. Can't tell, probably can't tell, but it's really thick and thick, so I only need a little bit. Then I'm gonna do this one. And it literally complements my blush too when you have like the same type of blush on as your eyeshadow. It just complements everything. Probably can't tell because my lashes, but it's definitely on there. Okay, boom. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to work my way into some highlighter. I just started doing highlighter yesterday and I actually love it because when the sun hits, oh, you could see that. You could see that, okay? Okay, I'm going in with the Perfect Bronze Beauty Concept palette. This is... I got this from TJ Maxx, so I'm not sure what the brand is called, honestly. Oh, it's called Beauty Concept, so yeah. I'm going to go in with this one right here the lighter one is put that above my cheekbone take some of this okay cool and i'm gonna just go i'm gonna turn this side go my cheekbone kind of like that <laughs> take my finger and just put a little bit on my nose to and blend that in just a little bit do you even like that highlight effect boom looking pretty good now moving on to the lips this is still super zoomed in but i want to show you guys like up close and personal how everything's looking but now moving on to the lips i use my color pop in the shade sunny val I like to overline my lips because it kind of make it kind of make my lips a little more fuller. Then I go in with this Sephora lipstick. This is in the shade 21. I like me a nudie brown lip, so I go in like more of a nudie lip color. And just do that but I like to I like to move my lip liner to make it look more ombre and then I go in with this NYX fortune cookie this gives me more of like a really pigmented nude color in the middle and I love that so much really really nude a nude look is always a great look to go for when you do like a natural soft glam I don't have no clear lip gloss so I use my Dior this is in the color 13 this is more like a beige nude, a beige color. It's not really clear, so it's gonna give me like a beige look. But I just go all around my lips as like a clear gloss. This is a Dior Lip Maximizer. Just like that. I'm going with this Beat Up LA Color Girl. This is definitely in like the shade brown. I like to make the bottom of my eyes more dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline that. Okay, then I go in with this Tarte Men Eater Mascara, and I do the bottom of my lashes because I love how that looks. It looks so freaking cute. Bottom lashes are just so freaking cute. Okay, you guys, this is literally the end of today's look, and I think I did a really good job. Definitely beginner friendly, natural, soft glam. I look how it looks. It looks so freaking pretty, like, oh my goodness, like, I even love this. Y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all gonna do this, try this out, like, even soft glam or is it giving natural glam? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's giving, okay? Look. Okay, it's giving. But with all that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed and might try it out, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!